How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be about lighting and how we can add it to subjects and paint it from scratch and some of my techniques that I use to create my own artworks. And it'll be a little bit of a follow along, so it's not gonna be a, like a complete tutorial, but it's gonna be more of a speed up, but you'll be able to see uh, how I create my artworks and the techniques I use. We'll be doing a little bit of a talk over, voiceover kind of vibe. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you do, make sure to leave a like and a comment on what you guys like to see next but anyway guys let's get into the video So we are in Photoshop now and I've already set up my canvas and as you guys can see we have Sir Lewis Hamilton as our subject for the lighting video today. Alrighty, so first off we have a circle mask on Lewis and we'll be making a small light source within the circle shape we have and I've gone for a more of a cyan or a greenish colour for our highlights on this piece. So that's what's going to be uh, painted all over Lewis. Now guys, we're going to go through and adjust Lewis's skin. So we're going to change it up a little bit using the select color adjustment. We're going to go in here and change up some of the reds to change it to more of a, a purplish color because we're going to be obviously putting uh, more cyan green highlights. So we don't want the skin to be contrasting or colors not working well. So we're just going to sit here and adjust the sliders until we get what we like. So guys, next thing we're going to do is take this layer of Lewis. We're going to control J on it to duplicate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click that and go convert to smart object now we want to drag this layer that is now merged above everything else and we're going to press ctrl u on it and then drag the saturation all the way down to zero to make it black and white and then go to blend mode and change it to overlay Now we're going to be starting to darken our entire subject and also add in some blue sorts of color grading to match the background and make the skin more accurate to what would actually be, you know, reflected on the skin when a cyan sort of blue light is uh, used. But now for majority of the design, I'll just be using a color fill with a cyan sort of green color that we'll be using for highlights and just a normal brush with obviously a Wacom drawing tablet. This is not used with a mouse. So I've got my pressure sensitivity set on and I'm just going to go through now and start painting in some highlights to uh, where they would be hitting naturally with the uh, light setup that I've got. Uh, so this is also going to be having some uh, blend if on it. So it's not just straight in you know, paint brushing. Sorry, it's using blend if as well. So while going through and doing the lighting, I decided I wanted to add an extra light source to just give a little bit more of a different color for the highlights. Instead of them all being cyan, I wanted to have a more natural, nice, like white light. So I put that up above Lewis's head and then I added highlights to the hat and so on to match it up.
From this point on, I'm just adding some highlights using a curves adjustment, just painting them underneath everything to try and make Lewis's skin glow a little more. So after a lot of debate I ended up going back and repainting the side of Lewis's cheek. It constantly was a problem for me but I managed to make it work out and then after that we moved on to painting some shadows and we're pretty much at the final stretch here. Everything is pretty much finalized and this is pretty much close to done. So for the final finishing touches, I'm going to add a quick color grading, uh, color balance over the top of this one, change up the skin tone, the shadows and mid tones a little bit and then we're going to also finish off with some extra highlights and then we are done. Alrighty guys, so for the actual design itself and the tutorial, we are done. I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you did find it helpful or would like some more stuff like this, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe if you guys did like. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.